woke this morning uh, to another beautiful day. It's been 11 days of blue sky, not a cloud in the sky at all, so it was another spectacular morning. And uh, last night the night was slightly getting a little bit more chilly, but um, still very pleasant indeed. Right now we're at Serpentine Gorge, and today was a really interesting walk through um, the, the most diverse uh, rock features and different types of rock in the Larapinta Trail and geologists would absolutely have a, a, a field day out here and it kept me quite interested being a bit of a rock novice myself and quite frankly I don't actually really like rocks but today it was very very interesting indeed and really well worth the walk. So right now we're a little bit tired and we're going to take off our boots and uh, enjoy the rest of the afternoon in the shade and, uh, and relax. Serpentine Chalet Dam, which used to be an old, um, the side of an old chalet, which I just noticed there's a picture of right here. Um, we just finished the end of section 8, and you get these sections at the end of every, uh, these um, info boards at the end of each section. There's 12 sections in the walk. A lot of people try and walk per section, but we're obviously taking multiple days to do some of the sections because they're quite long. But yeah, handy little resource, and there's a little log book around there that you sign in as well. Um, when, you, when you get to the end of each section. So I tell you, it was just a delightful little walk, a real treat. Um, I thought I was going to struggle walking up the hill in the morning because I've got this throat thing and it makes me a bit wheezy going up the hill, but I survived okay. And we went to Count's Lookout up the top and just had the most spectacular views north. Um, so we saw Mount Zeal, the highest mountain in the Northern Territory, and also um, uh, Mount Sonda, which is going to be uh, where we have our last day. So it's really um, exciting for us to see where we're going to be for the rest of the trip now as we walk ahead into this part of the range. So it was, uh, yeah, absolutely lovely day and I'm um, ready to set up camp here now. We're going to give uh, Summit Camping another go. Just logged up another six litres of water for tonight and tomorrow. We've got Mount Giles in the background, so it's pretty spectacular. And way over in the distance is Counts Point, where we were looking at yesterday down this beautiful valley between some ridges, and that's where we walked today. It was 10 kilometres uh, in this valley floor with the ridges down either side and it was just beautiful and the ground is still so green and, and lush and it's something that I thought may have started to brown off or get a little bit yellow by now but even today I still saw um, new flowers that came up and uh, it just really is just so vividly green uh, at the moment and the red contrast with the rock and the blue sky is just fantastic. So here we are tonight up the top of um, another hill so we'll give a, a night camping up here another crack and hopefully we won't get any of those little uh, mozzies and little insects biting us again tonight but uh, we're going to bunker down and have a very well earned rest. up on the top of uh, Mount Giles Lookout this morning. It was absolutely glorious. We had the most beautiful sunrise and a delightful morning. So from, uh, from there we walked about 16 k's um, to Ormiston Gorge, which is um, just in front of me here, which you just saw, which was lovely. Um, and as if, yeah, we got there about lunchtime, so we had lunch um, in the car park of the gorge and that's where all the coaches and stuff come in to view the gorge as well. So we've got a weather report which is great and it's um, 29 degrees today and it certainly feels like it's been pretty hot. Um, the next few days should cool down a little bit which should be nice. Um, so if that 16k wasn't enough to do in a day we decided to do the pound walk which is another 7k. Um, so we've ditched the packs, got the day pack on and uh, we're walking around the um, Ormiston Pound here. I don't think we really 
realise just how much that added on to the day and we're thinking about a sneaky shortcut because they can swim down in the gorge and we haven't been down in there yet and after I think it's 14 days we've been out now um, we're pretty stinky and we are well in need of a swim so looking forward to that. Well today's been uh, day 15 and it's uh, been almost like a little rest day for us today. Uh, we've only done nine and a half kilometres and uh, then today has also been another good day. We've got our uh, third kilometre drop from Glen Helen which is just behind us there so we've added another couple of k's to the day trip down there. And the trip's actually been quite easy from that point of view, we've done three smooth uh, so it's made it uh, a very enjoyable Here we are, we're down the Pink River now and um, we're just um, pulling up for the afternoon and we'll probably have a, a lovely dip in the river and enjoy the uh, evening's uh, delights.